Talk to a mother-to-be and she'll share her concerns. She's worried about the unknowns of labor. What if something goes wrong? What if she doesn't know she's in labor and she delivers in a taxi? Your response? Oh, you'll know. You can't mistake that kind of pain. Labor is a mixture of pain, anticipation, and joy. You both endure agony while looking forward to your heart's desire. Scripture says all of creation is experiencing the same anxious anticipation. The teacher Paul put it this way, for we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons and daughters, the redemption of our bodies. In context, Paul is describing the now and not yet of experiencing the healing available in Christ while also experiencing the brokenness of ourselves and the world around us. The need for healing is obvious. Flip on the news, violence, flooding, fire. Our children tell us about bullies and they repeat bad words they heard on the bus. Your jaw drops, your stomach churns, and your stress rises. You feel the pain. Yet your mind and heart have also experienced the good, that God is God even when life stinks, that he came and died on the cross so someday all could be made right again. So we wait in the heart, reminded of the good. We groan in pain, knowing our rescue is around the corner. Until then, we'll feel the sting of an imperfect life and we'll experience the joy that comes from knowing Jesus. And we can hold firm to the hope that he'll make good on his promise to restore all things.